Hi, uh, this is Jason, and this is my daily vlog called Living with CMT. I hope you enjoy. Good evening, folks. It's uh, Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday evening. I know I look tired, and I? God, I didn't realise I looked that tired, actually. Uh, yeah, it's been a bit of a quiet day today. Um, I felt a little bit better than yesterday, but not brilliant. Excuse me. It's all right. Um, my sister popped in briefly this morning uh, before they headed off back to Stoke, so we saw them for a little bit. Uh, then they went, we had a nice, a lovely cooked meal for dinner, and then, believe it or not, this afternoon, I went, I went back to have another lie down again. Sorry for that little glitch there, um, my eye, every so often, my eye waters, and when it waters, it burns like I'm having acid thrown in my eyes. I've got drops for it, but when it goes, it goes, trust me. Sometimes it's both eyes, but 95% of the time, it's just this eye, it's, oh, it's really bad. Yeah, not done a lot today. Like I said, it's been a quiet day. I've took things easy because I haven't had a good couple of days. So, um, I'll notice people are still watching my videos, which is good. And the Illuminations one. I do apologise about the sound. My wife pointed something out, actually, uh, after she'd watched it. Um, what I have an habit of doing is, I'd got the third footage, and I put the music underneath, and then I cut the bits out of the footage that I didn't want. Well, of course, that messed up the music, didn't it? So the music's all completely out of whack, and it keeps jumping and jittering and jittering. And I didn't know about that, so I'm glad my wife told me because um, now I know I can, next time I do it, I know to actually put the music in after I've cut the video. Told you I'm new. Um, did have one thing cool through today. Um, I got this a couple of weeks ago. You can't see that, so I'll flip it next time. What it basically is, is it's um, a limited edition 50 pence piece with Mickey Mouse on to celebrate 90 years. And uh, I ordered it. I ordered it. And it came today. And let's, let's look at that. How cool is that? Like I say, it's to oh, hang on, let me get it in focus. Yeah, it's to celebrate 90 years of Mickey Mouse. Well, you know what I'm like for coins. I mean, I'm mad on coins. I really am mad on coins. Um, I like collecting uh, like memorabilia for, for different things. Like um, I'm a big fan of uh, David Bowie, as you know. Um, one of the things that I got uh, of David Bowie was uh, was this actually. I'll just show it you. Right, and get it. It's a limited edition, again, um, they were only available for so long, and they basically are, I think you see that properly, the stamp sets of his album covers, look. I know, because um, uh, I'm, I'm a big, 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 big David Bowie fan. Uh, I think David Bowie, he, he, for, to me, he wasn't a singer, he was, he was a legend, you know, he was one of those that you can't really class as a singer, you can't really class as an actor, he was everything. There was nothing really that he couldn't do, and um, that's what that's what his appeal was. I think he was just a fantastic, fantastic individual. And uh, like I say, I've been mad on him for quite some time. Um, I did. I wasn't mad on his early stuff up until uh, God, a few years ago when I got listening to his old albums, and then I suddenly realised that you know this guy was such a genius that he spanned all those years, and to me, he never lost his popularity. He was always coming out with a new identity or or some new uh, music. He, he sort of went with the times, if you like. He moved, but he was still always himself. He still had his own, you know, he never tried to change himself in that respect. He was just David Bowie. He was a singer. He had loads of identities, obviously, Ziggy Stardust, uh, Thin White Duke, all that lot. But he was still, in the end, David Bowie. And what I like about him is the fact that he kept his personal life personal, you know. Um, I mean, nobody even knew that he was... Um, dying until he was ready to reveal it you know? he didn't go and broadcast it to the spread you know the broad the, the papers so that they could get the story and he could make millions off it and bring out a boot while he was going you know all that he didn't know none of that and uh, there ain't many that do that uh yeah so today like i say it's been rather quiet i've done lots of surveys i've just gone to a place actually that says um they can get me book published, but I think it's a bit. I think it's a bit dodgy because uh, yes, I've got it published on Amazon, but that's technically me self-publishing. And uh, now I'm trying to see if I can get a book deal with somebody if I can, and that would be good if I can get a proper publisher interested. That would be really good. Um, who knows? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to try anyway. I'm going to try. I was putting all a load of poems together actually for my second book. Um, I won't be bringing that out till next year. I'm not one of these that's going to bring out a book of poems every three months just to make money. I'm not doing that. Um, I'll bring it out next year. There'll be about another 40 to 50 poems in it. 
Um, I'm still writing, you know, I'm still writing new material. I wrote uh, a new one today. Um, I won't tell you what it is, I'll just tell you what it was called. Um, it was called Memory Thought, uh, Memory Thoughts. I've got myself at it now, Memory Seasons. Uh, and I just wrote that. I wrote that a few hours ago. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not having the best of weeks, I must admit. Uh, I was convinced today was Thursday for a start. I don't know what happened there. Um, but uh, my sister, when she went back, but I said she took a couple of my sponsor forms from my Movember. I'm hoping make um, you know a bit of money on that. That starts in God, two weeks, two weeks today, two weeks tomorrow. Yeah, two weeks tomorrow I start because obviously on the first of the month I've got to be completely clean shaven, and then by the 30th of November you'll see I'll have the yeah it's it's different. Um, but yeah, like I say, I enjoy doing the uh, illuminations thing. I couldn't lean out the car as much as I wanted to because with the CMT, I know I've got the pop socket, but there's still the danger of dropping my phone or my phone, my arm going numb and the phone dropping on the floor. And I can't afford just keep replacing the phone every time I drop it. So I didn't do anything silly like that. It was quiet, actually. It was very quiet. I was very surprised. But I think that's because it was a Monday evening. And because it's a Monday evening, you don't get as many people. You go on a Friday and a Saturday and it is literally heaving sometimes. I mean, last Last year, the year before, Deb's um, mum and dad came over, as in my father, my mother and father-in-law. They came over and they took us through the lights and it took us an hour to get one way and three and a half to get back. Because the traffic was literally bumper to bumper and we only moved about 10 yards every 20 minutes. We, we literally were stuck. You know, we were stuck. And all we did when we got back, me and, my dad, uh, me and dad just said, right, that's it, be it. And we just had a beer, we know it was about bloody half past ten at night or something, eleven o'clock at night, and it was we'd, we'd literally been gone since seven. We'd been gone since seven, and it was after eleven o'clock, it was. Well after eleven o'clock. In fact, I think it might have been nearer twelve o'clock by the time we got back. But it was heaving. This time, not so. Uh, there's quite a few lights out, which you'd expect. Um, but there was also quite a few lights in, uh, which was nice, because one year we went and literally there must have been 50% of the bulbs out. I've seen better illuminations on a Christmas tree. I'll tell you that now. Now, uh, speaking of that, everybody's uh, we were downtown uh, yesterday. It was yesterday, and everything's getting all ready for Christmas now. It's all decorations and Christmas tree, you know, um, luxury biscuit tins and all this sort of stuff. Don't think I'm quite ready for Christmas yet. Although you have to be, don't you? Because if you're not ready for it, it sort of just sneaks up on you, and then the next thing, it's Christmas Day, and you're like, "What happened there?" You know, nobody gave me a warning. But, um, yeah, it's it's uh, definitely going to be a busy couple of months for Deb because Deb does all these uh, designing things and she does cards and all that. And she's got so many orders for cards. It's ridiculous. Um, I've just done a bit of promoting for businesses to two, for two of my friends. Well, my friend and my co second cousin, actually. My, my friend who I call my sis, which is the Saran's Bespoke Emporium, the one I told you about, who does her, you know, does her MDF projects and cards to order and all that. She's doing okay, she's doing okay, and I'm promoting her business because that's what I like doing. That's a good use of these vlogs, actually. And the other one, on, they're both on Facebook, these are, by the way. So if you type in Saran's Bespoke Emporium, you'll find it. And the other one is Sarah's Pamper Hampers. And what it says, it's my second cousin, and what she does, she basically creates these hampers for different occasions. It can be for just, you know, a, a weekend pampering. If you want a weekend pampering, she'll put your bits of stuff in a basket and sell them in a, in a basket like, you know, you'll get like... Uh, I don't know, things like bath bombs and, and, and uh, liquids and all this sort of stuff. I don't know. I don't bother with it. But I know a lot of people who are into that sort of stuff and they rave about her products. They really do. She's had some fantastic reviews. So if you get a chance, type in Sarah's Pamper Hampers on Facebook and the page will come up. Um, but like I said, I don't I don't get anything for doing this. I'm not like on commission or nothing. They don't even know I do it, to be honest. It's just that in this day and age, I think... If we can go through life helping people out and trying to help people who are trying to get established or want to earn a little bit of money or just want to do it for the sheer heck of it, then why not? Why not, you know? I mean, I've not had any uh, bad feedback from doing this before. You know, I've not had people saying, oh, you're not supposed to have the time. You know, I can do what I want. These are my videos, mate. Um, CMT-wise, me uh, the problem with the base of my spine is uh, getting a bit much now. It's getting a bit too much. And I'm definitely, definitely going to have to start wearing my calipers every time I go downtown. I know that for a fact, because I was wearing my trainers yesterday, trying to be a smart horse as usual. And I could I could literally have to concentrate, concentrate 100%. Otherwise, my right ankle would have bent outwards. And 
I can't afford to do that. I can't afford to break my ankle or, or snap my ankle or snap my leg. I can't afford to do that. No chance. Um, I don't want to do that. I don't want to spend the next six months in plaster or whatever. So, um, yeah, from now on, it's going to be my calipers when I go downtown. It's going to have to be. Can't do much about it. Anyway, um, I'm not doing any more video today. I've got done nearly 10 minutes again, again, talking. I don't want to really do anything in the news. There's nothing major. The only thing I've noticed is that um, apparently the government have made a bit of a cock up when they transferred people over to ESA. And uh, it looks like now they owe, I think it's 150 million people. No, 150,000 people over five grand each or 10 grand each or something. I'm not one of them, unfortunately. I'll have to make my 10 grand off me books, won't I? In my dreams, mate, in my dreams. But hey, you live in London, don't you? You all take care. Have a really, really nice Wednesday evening and I'll do another video tomorrow. Bye for now. If you're enjoying the videos I'm doing and you want to see more, uh, you can subscribe by clicking the link there. And if you want to see my exciting day from yesterday, you can click up there. Thank you again for taking the time to watch my videos. Bye for now.